Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I do want to apologize for the lighting. I'm too lazy to get up and turn on more light, so this is what you get. In ever bad news, today marks six days of me being sick. I don't know how much I described in my last video of what I have. I don't know what I have, but basically for the last six days, I have been in and out of my bathroom, using my bathroom, and then coming out and feeling fine. Now I wouldn't vomit, it's actually the other way around, which I'm kind of happy it's that way and not out the mouth because I don't like vomiting. I don't, it makes me depressed when I get ill like that. Um, and it's also extremely painful. I bleh. But either way, for six days, it's kind of concerning that I'm still going to the bathroom. The first four days were worse because I was in and out every 20 minutes between 6 a.m. and about 12 p.m. And then it would go away for the rest of the day. And then the last two days, it's maybe once or twice in the morning and then it's done. I'm fine, I'm happy, I'm able to do whatever I want, go out, but then it would come back around, around this time, which I just went to the bathroom not that long ago. Um, so on the fifth day, which would be yesterday, I did turn to a doctor. I turned to Dr. Professor Google, and Dr. Professor Google told me that I either have IBS, cirrhosis to the liver, or cancer. Now, Dr. Professor Google is definitely a quack, so I don't take his words very seriously. Uh, he needs to have his license removed because it is making me angry. I do not believe I have cirrhosis of the liver. I do not believe I have cancer because if I had cancer, I would be in way, way much more pain uh, than I am now. Um, but I probably have IBS. But it's also concerning that it's lasting this long. So maybe it's more than just IBS. Maybe there's Maybe there's an infection of the intestinal lining. That's another thing that I read. And everything seems to match up. Another one that's kind of interesting is a parasite to the intestinal lining. Um, I did have some prosciutto, which was cured, which does not mean that any parasites that are living in it are murdered. So I also may have a parasite. Um, so I'm going to a doctor tomorrow to figure out what I can do um, so I can relieve these symptoms or make it go away or, or whatnot. Um, I did put it off long enough. I just don't want to go and tell them, yeah, like I'm like crapping a lot and I just don't want to do a sample. I don't want to do a poop sample. Oh my gosh, like that's so embarrassing. I'd much rather do it at home and then bring it back, but you know what? You just gotta do what you gotta do. Alright. Today we are reading... I don't know where we're at. I'll, I will not do Chronicles, okay? We're doing 2 Corinthians chapter 12. It's taking me forever to get through. Ooh. Hello. Thank you. So, uh, this is a long, this is a long chapter. No, it's not. Alright, let's be... Let's begin with... Verse 1 of chapter 12. Oh my gosh, it says Paul's vision of a, of a paradise. And this said Paul's vision of a parasite. I was like, what? Is that a sign? Okay. Paul's vision of, a, of paradise. It is not expedient for me, doubtless, to glory. I will come to visions and revelations of the Lord. I don't know why that lighting... Ugh, give me a second. Is that, oh, I just lost my page. Is that better by a, that's much better. I lost my page. Oh, I found it. All right, Ooh. I'll get my self over here. Ooh. One page too, too much. All right, verse two. I know a man in Christ above 14 years ago, whether in the body I cannot tell, or whether out of the body I cannot tell. God knoweth. Such as one caught up to the third heaven. And I knew such a man, whether in the body or out of the body, I cannot tell. God knoweth. 
how that he was caught up into paradise and heard unspeakable words, which is not lawful for a man to utter. Of such an one will I glory, yet of myself I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. For though I would desire to glory, I shall not be a fool, for I will say the truth. But now I forbear, lest any man should think of me above that which, is, which he seeth me to be, or that he heareth of me. And lest I shall be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me. Is that word again? Is it buffet or buffet? Lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, and the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in approach, the necessities, the persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. That's, that's actually very true. For when I am weak, then I am strong. I am become a fool in glorifying. Ye have compelled me. For I ought to have been commended of you. For in nothing I am, am I behind the very chiefest apostle, though I be nothing. Truly the signs of apostle were wrought among you in all practice. Patience! in signs and wonders and mighty deeds. For when it was for what is wherein ye were inferior to other churches, except it be that I myself was not burdensome to you, forgive me this wrong. Behold the third time I am ready to come to you, and I will not be burdensome to you, for I seek not yours, but you, for the children ought not to lay up for their parents for the parents, but the patient, but the parents for the children. And I will very gladly spend and be spent for you, though the more abundantly I love you and the less I be loved. And be it so. I did not burden you, nevertheless, being crafty, I caught you with guile. Did I make a gain of you by any of them whom I sent unto you? I desired Titus, and with him I sent a brother. Did Titus make a gain of you? Walked we not in the same spirit? Walked we not in the same steps? Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you. We speak before God in Christ, and we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. For I fear lest when I come I shall not find you such as I would, and that I shall be found unto you such as ye would not, lest there be debates, envyings, wraths, strifes, backbitings, whisperings, swellings, tumults, and lest, when I come again, my God will humble me among you, and that I shall bewail many which have sinned already, and have not repented of the uncleanness, and fornication, and lavish, 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 See that word, which they have committed. That was the end of chapter twelve. <sighs> it's good to be back, you guys. I know it's been very sporadic, and I know it's not fair to you guys, and it's not making me look good in the light. But just understand where I'm coming from. All right, you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. If you don't see me tomorrow, you know that I'm probably on the toilet. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye.